Right, so I've moved the uh, dial gauge so that the tip of the dial gauge is sitting on top of the inlet uh, valve, sort of on the collets there. Okay, and we've set the engine to top dead center because that's my mark there. And then we've zero, I've zeroed the dial gauge. Okay, and what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the engine backwards until until the um, this um, oh yeah so this tappet has been set to zero clearance okay that's important it's been set to zero clearance to begin with now I'm going to turn the engine backwards and this valve is very slightly open and what will happen is it will fully close and what we're going to do is we're going to read off on the gauge. Uh, what how many thou it is before it fully closes and what we're trying to do is we're trying to get as near to 150 thou as we can before uh, without going over so that'll be one revolution of the gauge and then up to as near to 50 as we can get so i'll set the camera up everything else is set we'll turn the engine backwards and we'll watch the dial and see how close to 150 we get and that will tell us whether we need to adjust this uh, inlet um, pinion to give us uh, a, a higher reading or not. Okay, so I've set the camera up as best I can so that you can see the dial gauge. That's about the best angle I can get on it. Um, so I'm going to turn the engine backwards now. Everything is all set up and we were looking for that to go around 150 thou to as near that, that 50 as we can. So I'm going to turn the engine backwards, and as that happens, the inlet valve is going to close. And when it's fully closed, then that will stop moving. And that is the, the, the reading that we're looking for. So here we go. Uh, make sure I turn the engine backwards, uh, not forwards. Yeah. Okay. So it's going round. So 50 thou. And then when it gets back to zero, That'll be a hundred thou. Okay, that's hundred thou. So we're now on 120. Still going down, 130. And we're stopping there. That's about 132 thou. If you can see that. Right, so we're about 18 thou short of optimum. So that means it should be that if we, um, the way you, you can change these. You actually change them by 17 degrees. That's there's no. You can't change it by any less than that. So in theory, if I move that that um, the cam pinion round, sort of one keyway, that should increase it by 17 degrees, and we should be on about almost exactly 150 uh, opening, if all goes well. So. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take that pinion off. We're going to move it round. We're going to move it anti-clockwise. Uh, we'll come on to that in a minute and uh, put it back on, check the timing again, and hopefully it will be just about spot on 150,000. We'll see. Okay, uh, so what I've done now is I've marked the uh, time, the uh, inlet pinion and the uh, intermediate uh, pinion where it is now. And I've counted around 17 uh, teeth and I've marked that. And then I'm going to take the pinion off. I've got my, uh, my, uh, pinion, my sprocket puller, my pinion puller. I'll screw into these two holes and I'll pull it off. And then I'll turn it anti-clockwise, yeah, anti-clockwise, uh, until this new dot lines up with the dot on the intermediate. And then we'll try it again, and hopefully uh, we should find, hopefully, <laughs> it should be at 150,000 uh, 150, or near. Uh, the thing to remember is that when we pull it off, there's the keyway now, so basically I'll be moving it round that, that keyway will be going to there uh, and you know so the key will be going into that keyway I'll take it off um, 
The thing to remember is because we're actually altering the timing and it's a third of a tooth different, it probably won't slot on perfectly. So I might just have to rotate the engine slightly uh, to, uh, you know, to get to get these two dots to line up. Um, so just bear that in mind, because obviously the pinion will be in a slightly different, that's the whole point, is moving the camshaft round very, very slightly to change the timing. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll set up the puller. We'll pull the pull the um, pinion off, move it round, and and put it back on. Okay. So yeah, I've taken a nut off the uh, inlet uh, camshaft. Don't forget it's left hand thread, and that's why I didn't do it up fully before because I thought we might be taking it off. I've left the timing degree disc in position because uh, it saves me having to redo the um, work out where top of the centre is before but that of course means it's in my way a bit but we're getting we're getting there um, and uh, so now I've got the puller in place so it's screwed into those two holes and then it will slowly pull the camshaft pinion off the camshaft you heard it, probably heard it click before, it's like breaking the seal. Okay, so we've got the uh, Got the pinion off. Okay, so that's where it was before. So I'm moving it around 17 teeth. So basically, that keyway is going to line up there. But what I've got to try and do is make sure that that tooth there lines up, and it is lining up. Uh, is that in the right place? Yeah, it's gone. It's going in. Yeah. I thought we might have to turn the engine around a bit, but I think it is just going in, I think, without turning the engine around. I might just turn the engine... Which way? Backwards a bit, is it? I'll see. I'll see if that will go on. <clears throat> if it doesn't, we'll have to jiggle the engine around a bit. Right, wow. Well, that's been uh, a major struggle. <laughs> uh, you know, it did not want to go, that pinion did not want to go on in that position. Where, you know, it seemed to be happy in the others, but the one position I wanted it in, it didn't want to go in. It would go on, and it kept fouling on the damned uh, Woodruff key, you know, on the, on the shaft, oh, which is exactly what happened the first time I ever tried doing this. And for those of you who have the manual, because uh, I actually gave up that time. And I'm not surprised because I nearly gave up again this time. Anyway, um, I'm pleased to say I've done it, I've checked it, and it's damn near uh, spot on 150. So, uh, you know, it's worth it, but God. Um, I'll, 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 put the, uh, I'll, I'll uh, put the camera on, I'll show you on the dial gauge. Okay, I just wanted to show you the difference now on the dial gauge. Uh, because we're trying to get it as near to 150 as we can. So we're there, we're on zero, then we're on 50, then we're on 100, and then we go around 130, 140, and then look at that. I stopped at 148 and very, very close to 150, which is just perfect. That's exactly, exactly where we want it. So, you know, big big uh, plus from where we were before that's a that's a result <laughs> it was it was difficult it was fiddly i just couldn't get the pinion to see on the on the camshaft you know it kept dislodging the woodruff key uh but eventually i persevered and eventually went on um so worth worth all that messing but it was a faff i'm hoping that the either that the exhaust is already within tolerance or if it's not that it goes 
when I move it round, it goes on a lot easier than the inlet. 